Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Ventures. Today we got an antenna from you from, let me read this for you, Goo Z Zoo. That's the name. Uh, it's an antenna made from China. They sent this to me. I'd like to thank the good folks over at Goo Z Zoo for sending this to me for an evaluation for you guys. All they did was send me the antenna in exchange for the video. There was no money to exchange hands, okay? So what we have is a, it's a Yagi. It says 2 meter, 70 centimeter outdoor GMRS Yagi antenna. So I don't believe it's 2 meter and 70. I think it's only 70, but we'll see that when we open the package. So I think that's a, a problem with their, their labeling. They do sell both though, and they sell one that is two, but I don't believe this is the one. So it says it covers, and then it says uh, 430 to 440 megahertz. It's a three element Yagi. Let's pull it out. And so here it is in the box. And I already opened the end out here. Let's pull it out and let's see what comes in the box. Package will really nice. Okay, first of all, let's just pull this over here. First of all, we got this U-bolt kit. And this also, this is a matching unit that's inside this bag here also. Let's undo this. This is the other part of the U-bolt. What we have is three elements, move this stuff out of the way, and a boom with a hookup for your coax here. And as I look at this, let's see, everything is numbered. You got one, two, and three, and then I would suspect, yes, we have three on this one, one on this one, and two on this one. I have to tell you guys, this thing looks super well thought out and easy to build. I think I can build it right here, most of it without even looking at the instructions. We're gonna try that. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we are gonna take number one, which is right here. Number one, as you guys can see, there's a screw section and this has a screw on it. This is a, um, I've showed this to you guys before, this bolt is called a threaded insert basically. It, and what you do is you stick this through there like this and then screw this down. Super, super easy. I don't think it could be any easier than that. I'm probably gonna borrow this idea. So number two is this one. Comes in the same side. We're gonna screw that one in. This, this one will get another part. This will be the matching unit will be on this also, okay? I would suspect, I don't know how it's actually designed inside, but this looks like all one piece. And then we have number three here, and we're gonna do the same thing with that. And hopefully you guys can see that. So basically, we've got this thing built. I could move back here a little bit for you. Pretty compact, pretty light. Everything looks pretty well made. I mean, nice piece of metal here, the square stock and stuff. And uh, it's got your holes here for your bracket here to hit on a pole. We'll test this later to see how it comes out. And we'll have to actually tune it. So let me put this down here and let's open the rest of this package up and see what's inside the, uh, the rest of the stuff inside the bag here. Okay, and you have your really lightweight... Uh, U-bolt here, which goes with this. That goes in the back here. And this is made to go vertical, so it's gonna go on a pole like this. And you probably want the tuning side down. I, I don't know for sure. So then we have, let me put those parts over here. These are all the parts to the U-bolt. It comes with comes with two, uh, two bolts and two washers and lock washers. Okay, if I can pick them up. And those go to each side of the U-bolt. Now it comes with this little tuning bar here. And I think that's hollow. And that's gonna go in here. And actually, I don't think you have to take anything apart. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna put one side of this. It's gonna be hard to see, guys, but uh, let me see if I can let me get this screw out as far as we can go without losing it. 
as you can see, it's got little spots for the two bars. So this one's going to go down here. Like this. It's going to clamp on there like that. Somehow I missed it. Okay, now it's in there. This one is going to go in here. And I probably need to loosen it. And I didn't even bring a tool out for it. But let's just kind of get it snug. And I'll take my hand out of your way. Okay, so that's going to go in there. I need to get, uh, see what we need. We need a little screwdriver, which I would say, let me see if I can turn this. Maybe I, could, I can't turn it. The first th This is the first thing I see that's not too well thought out. It might, it might be me, but it's hard to get to the screw. If you guys look here, the screw is between, it's in the middle here. So I don't know how you're supposed to really get to that doesn't look like we can turn it or anything. I'm going to tighten this other one up. Let's look at the instructions. We're pretty much built though. Okay, here's two sets of instructions. This one actually, the other one doesn't have this. This one says 20, it looks like 21 millimeters or one millimeter. It's, it, it looks like it's handwritten. We'll figure that out though. And it does show the screw on top. So maybe once I loosen that screw, maybe it'll go to the top. Let me get a screwdriver. All right, so I, I, I got a screwdriver. Let's just, I may have to take this apart though, unfortunately. Should have brought some glasses too. Doesn't look like this turns. So I don't like that. I think this is a fairly new antenna. That's why the instructions were written in. So I'm just going to take this out. We're going to move this over and see if we can push it in there. Okay, I, I got that all the way out. Let me just look at these instructions. I'm just going to guesstimate it for now. We can adjust it once we get it on a meter. And they're showing, looks like about an inch in, about where I've got it. I'm going to put it right about there. We're going to guess that's it. I'm going to tighten this down. I'm just gonna, I don't know if you guys can see, but let's see. So I'm just gonna screw this. Once that's screwed in there, I could have put it in to start with, it wouldn't have mattered. But I, I can get that fairly tight with a screwdriver. It shouldn't move now, okay? All right, so that is the whole antenna right there. I will set up a, uh, well, let's just go ahead and put this on. We're going to put this on this side, I think. Let's see if it shows which way it goes. Yeah, they're not even showing that part, so I'm just going to guesstimate it goes that way. So, and the only reason I'm doing that is because of my coax will be out here instead of... And you kind of need to put this thing through like that. And I forgot this, so we're going to put this back on there. We're just going to put everything in there loosely for now. We'll put a washer, a lock washer, and the wing nut. This thing's really light, and uh, it shouldn't... You can put it up probably on you know, almost like a 10-meter pole from uh, the DS Commander type pole or something like that, fiberglass. We're going out and doing stuff while you're out, maybe doing a, a, one of the contests. You guys, make sure that you do... Uh, like, subscribe, and then uh, hit the bell to hit all. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna s borrow this idea for an antenna I wanna build for six meter. I've got some uh, pieces of aluminum that I wanna make one out of. So there we go. So that's on there. You put your pole through here like this, tighten that down, and then you're set. So let me set this thing up on a pole. I'll get back to you. We'll put a meter on it, and we'll see how, how well it tunes up. I'll be right back. All right, so here we have it mounted on this pole if you guys want a link to this pole i can give that to you also later but basically i went to the second section just so it had more threads here okay so it's all set up and now i'm just going to raise it up let me see if i can uh, 
set this down while I do that. Actually, I'll set this back here and you guys can watch it go up. How's that? Should give you a pretty good view. I'm not gonna, I don't have to go super high because it's for 70, but the higher the better. Now, I will say the cable that I used is so so for 70 centimeter, but the gain should outweigh that. And if you were really gonna be, I would use the shortest amount of coax and the best coax you could for this. Hopefully, you can hear me. I'm not really mic'd up, but we're gonna put this up. I'm gonna go a couple sections here. I'll go one more section. Okay. So that's about oh. So it's about 10 feet or so. So uh, let's go back and we'll look at the uh, SWR on this thing. All right. So I've got it all hooked up. The uh, the, the band is 420 to 450. So let's just take, let me set this other camera up here so we can see what we have. Hang on. All right. So let's just set this like this. So right now we're at 419 is 1.4. I've only set, I set this up in the video, guys. So this is how easy this is. So let's just go up. Okay, we're gonna go up. We're 1.4 still, 1.5 at 422, 1.6 at 423, 1.8 at 424. It's starting to go back down. Now we're 1.4 or 1.5, 1.4, excuse me, at, uh, let me, let me put my eyes back on. So 1.4 at 425. At 428, we're 1.4. If you watch the ohms, right around 1427, they're 50 ohms. That matters to you guys. And then we go up to 430, we're 1.4. 433, we're 1.3. 1.2 and what did I say this goes up to it goes to 450 so at 4 435 let's go to 435 or 1.2 for 37 1.2 for 1 .2, and we're 50 ohms roughly 438 1.1 439 we're 1 1.0 to 1 440 or 1.0 to 1 440 5, 1.3, and let's just go up to 450, 450, we're 1.4. So my initial setting for this thing is good enough for me. I mean, it's all below 1.5. Uh, there's a couple of little areas there, but you can adjust that in and out, whatever you need for your particular use. I'm just going to leave it like it is. So all in all, I think this is a great product. Uh, what was the price? It was like $35, I think. Something like that. I'll put it in. I'll put it here if it's not if it's not thirty five. I think it's thirty four ninety nine. Okay. You know what? I think I might do also for this because uh, if I do go out to a soda site or something like that, I want to probably do it on SSB. So I'm gonna drill two more holes the other direction so I can put it flat, so it's horizontal and not vertical, and we'll try that. We'll see how that works, and. Uh, I may have to retune it a little bit. Usually I don't have to though, but uh, you may have to. But uh, if I do that, I'll make a video out and show you guys. They also sent me a small tuner and I'm gonna review that here in the next few days also. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell, hit all. Then we get all my videos, if you, especially if you're interested in the small tuner. It's a, it's a QRP uh, tuner and uh, I'm gonna go through that thing. We're gonna open that thing up and look inside, see what's in it. So I don't know where these guys are, but there's S9 here. I'm not sure what, English, what uh, language that is either. Let me move this down for you a little bit. They're not real. Clear either. 
Peter. See, that sounds okay. Here we go. All right, this seems to be a great little product. I think they're about $35, if I remember right, $34.99, something like that. Pretty reasonable for what you're getting. I mean, you couldn't, you almost couldn't buy the parts for that price. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, review. And if you have an, if you have a, uh, a need for something like this, make sure you look in the description. There'll be a link down there and maybe a discount also. I forget if it is, it'll be in the description also. Okay, 73 all. I hope to catch you guys on the airways. Now, I may catch you guys on 70 centimeters because I'm going to take this thing out on a POTA and try it out. Maybe a soda. I've got a really good spot to do this. Shoots right down the Sacramento Valley. 73 all.